This video will be looking at adding overshoots to your scene. Okay, so in the node group, let's click on this arrow right here on the right hand side to enter the group. And we'll see that the lever here is constructed of these drawings. And to do an animation where he's going to be pulling the lever, let's uh, click on the master peg to make sure that we're going to be applying all animation keys to this master peg. Click on the transform tool in the tools toolbar. We can see here that the pivot point is already located at the base of the lever of the uh, control stick. So let's set a keyframe in the first frame. So here in the master peg bar layer in the timeline, right click, insert keyframe or F6. Click on frame nine and we'll rotate this a little forward. Click on frame 13 and we'll rotate this back. And finally, frame 23, move it over just a bit. So you see in the first frame, the lever moves forward. So that's him anticipating the movement, pulling it back. He actually pulls it back, and then it settles into place. And if you play our animation, the overshoot keyframes help our animation feel much more natural than if it were just going from point A to point B.